That downriver area was also hammered by the relentless rain. Take a look at the flooding in Flat Rock at this mobile home park. That's where we find 7 Action News anchor Brian Abel, who was there as neighbors helped each other out. Brian. Yeah, here in Flat Rock, guys, the waters are slow to recede, leaving people in this community here concerned about this next round of storms and their elderly neighbors who are stuck. A Flat Rock mobile home community underwater. How long have you been here for? Seven years. You seen anything like this in those seven years? Not this bad. Nancy, like so many here, woke up having to use floating transportation to get out. Got in my kayak to survey the damage and stuff, and it's just devastating throughout the whole park. The whole park is underwater. Cars unable to move. Some stalled in the streets. People think that they, they can make it through and they can't. And the waves created by the cars that do get through damaging homes. Seven inches of rain and no, for nowhere to go. I mean, we got the Huron River running behind us. I'm sure it's all the way up and over its banks right now. So since that water's got to go somewhere, this water's got to go. That's the only place it can go. The flooding, a concern for safety, too. I just worry about the older people that are in the back. I mean, if something happens, rescue can't get back there. How does this community recover from this? One day at a time. That's all we can do. You know, hopefully, you know, the community will come together and help everybody out. And we have seen that on display already. People helping push stall cars out of the water. And Mike and Carolyn, we still see that water up to trunks. And we're also seeing people come home from work trying to figure out how to get to their home. Carolyn, Mike.